Hill. I'm Jaws on the beat, I've got flow that kills. Do my thing with a few G's, Lauren Hill. Guys, it's Unders, and in today's video, I'm going to break down the FL Studio project for this drum and bass track for my project, Hearts. This is a track I really enjoyed putting together, but it is very specific. It's got a very specific sound and I really like the direction we took, but I completely understand if it's not for everyone. And if that's the case, that's absolutely fine. Hopefully you can still get something of value from how I put the track together. Hearts was also released with the channel sponsor, which is DistroKid. That's who I use to release all of my music. DistroKid is a music distribution service and the best way to get your music out to all of the modern streaming services fast, efficiently and within an independent artist's budget. Check out the description below for a discount today. If you want to see more of how I like really build a track like this in FL Studio, do let me know in the comments below as well. So let's break down this project. Um, as we can see, I've got everything up on screen and I've condensed it down quite a bit. I do that when I'm working in FL Studio because automation and whatnot can end up taking a lot of tracks. By the looks of it, I used 53 different tracks to get this whole thing together. So to do that in FL, like I've got the Vox here, they're all just dragged together. Let's just tap the arrow and it will open everything up for us. And so we'll break those bits down as we go. So let's just check out the intro. Now in the intro, I very purposely made a really weird off key kind of sound. Something to kind of just like pick up the ear and be like, oh, that doesn't quite sound right. And we've got that right on the offset here. I did that really so you kind of hear it at first and it's just an interesting sound, but it kind of goes whoa and wobbles off, becomes a bit dissonant. Just how I found it just helped draw in and then the chords from the piano kind of just help roll into it and it keeps it going. And I think the piano is just this bit here. It's just cut up from a sample. Uh, I just chopped the notes up. If we just drop that open, there's literally nothing else there going on. We've just got some other bits in the background here. You see, they're all bits of samples just chopped really finely down. If I open up the rest of the effects here, we've got some automation making those effects happen. And some just like some just re reverse effects here, just bringing us in. So we just 16 bar intro uh, and just you know some big long kind of like reverse crash sweep and a tiny little one just adding into it there. So we just got. Uh, and just as that's finishing up, I've got this like weird pitch down vocal bit I did. Barely even noticed this in there, but it just adds some texture. Get that nice rumble in there. And then this is just the crash coming in. Um, and here from even like this, like extended intro, like the track doesn't really actually get going to about bar 50. But this bit here kind of sets the tone, these 16 bars. Uh, I've got the sub in here, very simply just made in Harmer probably. Just riding up and down there. We can find the track over here. It's called My Subber. I just make that in Harmer most of the time. Really, really simple to make. Um, yeah, it's just called Bass One on here and like control wise. Fruity R compressor, Fruity Limiter. And um, the Fruity Limiter will just be there as a side chain against the kick. Nice and easy. Um, all the drums together, we're going to a bus over here. So if we bring the whole track together. And like really, really, really simple drums. They get a bit more complex later, but they're part of a chopped up break. Another bit of a chopped up break uh, and just a snare layered on top. And then I've just made the ride separately in its own loop, right? You know, so chops up that bit of a break. Chopped up this bit of a break. It's just a kick drum. But it's chopped out of a break because you can hear some shuffly drums in there. Together, they just kind of shuffle nicely together. Just a snare on its own, just to fill in. Just a nice little click. And then just the ride on top of it all. And just a nice little liquid shuffly break. Just chopped out of two different breaks. A snare added in. Right on top, right? And then just building up this section, uh, we've just got some very simple vocals coming through. We should have. Mm -hmm. 
Um, there were some other vocals in this section, but I decided to cut them out uh, and actually think I used chops of it later in the project. I just liked having these R's in the background just to start the build up. That just builds up into another, essentially it's a breakdown straight away. So we've got kind of odd structure, but again, I liked how it built it out. And this really sets the tone for the track actually starting right up on bar 50 here. So this is like a vocal breakdown with some of the instrumentation over it. We've got a lot more instrumentation going on here with like some backing choirs and sounds as well. There's loads of delays and reverbs and things just helping the vocal travel along. We can see all the automation in there. But there's also layers of different bits of the vocal going on to give it kind of that thickness. Like we've got the just little oohs and bits hidden in the background, as well as like the main. I can see clear. Yeah, they're all just there in there, layered together. There's uh, different layers of them as well. I can uh, and together they all build up quite nicely and give us like a nice thick kind of uh, spacious vocal, right? Cool. And then just from here, like the break starts to filter in again, just to get us started in the whole track. And yeah, we've got some automation just helping it filter in. I've just used that initial chop up here. So it's still a bit like stuttering. It's not quite going yet. Uh, I've got some automation going on with some of the instrumentation to help that balance out a little bit differently as well. Um, in the sort of note section, I've got bits like violins and things going as well. They're just all layered in just to add thickness and build up into this main section of the track. There we move nicely into the main section where for the most part like it's stripped back it's the sub there's a couple of little effects going on here and there so um, there's a section where we talk about being at a festival i've got some festival like crowd sounds just to kind of help give that feel and build that into there um, but it's, you know, it's mainly just the instrumentation we've got the piano i've then got a chord layer uh, using a separate a piece of audio behind that haven't even chopped it up as much here i don't think i might have just done these uh, same four bars over and over a uh, little bit extra percussion and things like that and the drums they switch up a touch but honestly it's just mainly taking all those little elements that i've teased uh, and bringing it all together into this section here and uh, yeah it's the main sort of body of the track stretched out over what well, i guess 32 bars here Shaker here being the biggest thing added. Because I'm sober now, I can't see clear, and I'm moving on with no more pain. Because now it's gone, I can't see. Okay, and uh, so the next section, really simply, is more of like a breakdown section. We build into another little breakdown. The vocals here change a lot, so we've not so much got the, the main part in, but we've got a lot of like backing and feel vocals. So we roll the brake for a little bit and then break it apart again. The and I'm 
sorry if that's stuttering, but this project apparently doesn't want to run while I'm screen recording too. Yep, so we've got that nice breakdown, loads and loads of reverb with the vocal because we've got nothing else really going on. We can really fill that space and just kind of overwhelm everything else. Just got the chords rolling through a little bit, a bit of automation, bringing them down. Got the violins and that Mellotron and things back. Even take the sub out in this section and really strip it back. And then we've got another verse. We can roll that again. So we've got the same thing. We're just using all those elements, bringing them all together again. And that is it, basically. That, that rolls the whole song together. We've then got an outro where the break I chopped up for the whole thing. I just used the break uh, in the outro. I've got some, some editing on there just to help it fade out in the end. That same weird dissonant sound just taking us out there. Um, so that's just really simply, guys, how I structured hearts and some of the elements that put it together in FL Studio. If you want to hear and know a little bit more about how I put projects like this together in FL Studio, uh, let me know. Maybe we can do a track from scratch in FL rather than Logic. Um, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, we'll look at doing that. Maybe I'll produce the next like vocal liquid track entirely in FL and we can document it on the channel since uh, some of the Logic ones have been so well received. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.